when we gather together to worship, we offer back to God one portion of that which we have received in the week to, before. When we're in our sanctuary, that means that we pass offering plates and we bring them to the altar and we hold them up. We can't do that in this season, but I want to remind you that each week we ask that you take just a moment of time to offer up your life fully to God, to offer up your time and your talent and your treasure, to share the light that is in you in the world as God's light is in the world. Also, when we gather, we have the opportunity to be reminded of our call to pray for one another without ceasing. Practically speaking for us, that means that when we hear of someone's need on a Sunday or during a prayer chain email in the week, we can hold on to that. And when that crosses our spirit throughout the week, we have the opportunity to lift that once again in prayer. I'm going to remind you that once again, if you look at the attendance form among our worship resources, there is a place there for you to leave your prayer concerns with us so that we can hold those things in prayer throughout the week. I also know that sometimes the things that are on our heart are too heavy to give voice. And know that God sits with you even when you cannot speak the words. Let's gather our hearts in prayer. Gracious God, never before has a call to oneness felt so powerful, perhaps. Never before has a call to oneness felt so critically important, perhaps. Or perhaps we join in a story that is repeated generation by generation, a story of separation from you and return to you. God, we repent of the places where we have not valued fully the life of our black and brown brothers and sisters our black and brown siblings in Christ. We repent of those places where we have not recognized fully the value of a range of life experiences in our own life experience. Help us see the places where we're participating in systems that continue to oppress. We ask that you would help us see a path forward in this season, a path forward toward a medical breakthrough on a pandemic, a path forward toward a societal and emotional and um, relational breakthrough on a deep division in the fabric of our shared humanity. Those are big things and we know that so. We also bring before you the people, the faces and the names that we care for deeply. For those who are sick and suffering. For those who are anxious and afraid. For those who have lost a loved one. For the, li for the lives of those we have lost. We pray for healing and for wholeness, for peace and for strength, for breakthroughs and for resilience, for families, for caregivers, for medical workers, for scientists, for leaders. Help us see the places that you're calling us to be hands and feet and participants. And hear us as we pray, as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now, beloved, you have heard another call to discipleship. You have heard another challenge. How is it that you will be connecting to the Spirit in the week to come so that the fruit of the Spirit dwell and are produced in you? How is it that you become fruitful? Go out from this place created by a loving God who sees your unique gifts and gives thanks for each of them, who delights in your presence. Go out from this place following in the footsteps of the man who was Jesus but was also the Christ. Go out swimming in the things that he taught. Go out swimming in the example that he set to be like him. Go out from this place and seek a connection to this breath of the Spirit that is all around you in those moments of experience, in those moments of revelation, in those moments of divine intervention. Go out in love and peace to serve the world because it needs you so. Amen. <laughs>